In 1985, the local P9 union in Austin went on strike after Hormel Foods demanded an almost 25% cut on already frozen wages. The strike divided families and tore the community apart. The Children's Theater in Minneapolis is revisiting the strike through its production of Spamtown USA. ABC6 News anchor Miguel Octavio brings us backstage. As children grow up and make sense of the world, they typically turn to their parents for guidance. But the Hormel strike made that job difficult. Some children couldn't understand why their parents, whether on strike or with the company, were despised. Spamtown USA gives people a chance to see those struggles through their lens. Officials say eight officers were injured in the melee. They were taken to the hospital. Where A clear commotion sets the mood at the start of the play. Mom, let's <laughs> save it for the picket line. Families shout at each other, but who's right and who's wrong isn't clear. This is Austin now. It's a point director Will Davis tries to make. Uh, this play is not about how the strike was, it's about how the strike felt. Morning in America. Spamtown USA follows three families. Parents are either a worker or a corporate manager, but it's the kids who are the stars of the show. We just tried to focus on what was it like to live in this? What happened to the kids' dreams? What, what did they learn from this? How were the kids trying to talk to the parents about this experience and bring their own needs and urgencies? There are a number of fictionalized characters in this play who are friends who have that friendship tested because their families are on different sides of the debate. While it's all an act on stage, it was Jill Slay's reality. At home, I remember being told, just don't talk about it. Don't talk about where your dad works. The police continued to arrest demonstrators, and here it becomes a violent situation when they chase down a protester resisting arrest. Jill was in sixth grade during the strike. Her dad worked on the corporate side. He would be out of job if he didn't go to work. That was something that was difficult for me to understand, too, as a kid. Like, all these people are so mad at where my dad works. Why does he still work there? Picketers surrounded Hormel during the strike. Jill's dad packed a bag to work each day in case he had to stay overnight. And taunted workers who drove by the plant entrances. Her mother would anxiously wait for him to come home. I mean, if the company was going to stay a leader in the food processing industry, cuts were going to have to be made. That was just the situation, sadly. But it was. Race Hardy watched his father strike. His dad worked for Hormel for more than 30 years. Of course, I didn't want to see my dad's wages and benefits cut, but I, I felt that way since 1986. I study it every year, and I keep thinking I'm going to change my opinion on it, but I don't. Today, Austin continues to grow, but it still has its small town feel. I don't think. It's pronounced enough anymore that you can tell, oh, something's off. I think it's just a nice town now. Today, Jill says she's afraid of protests, but no longer of the town. There's so much more pride going on. I don't think I was proud to be from Austin, not for a long time. Yes. And while Austin's kids today may never understand the gravity of the strike, is I hope it has young people asking real questions. Is this true? What happened? You know, to, to spur their interest in thinking about this event and the labor movement and what a union is. But the masterminds of the show hope it sparks more conversations beyond the strike. It allows you to walk in someone else's shoes. It allows you to experience their lives. It allows you to have empathy and see through their eyes and see the world through their lens. And I hope it also is a reflection on the time we live in now which is a time of extraordinary division. And while some say the show is all for entertainment, Will Davis says it's more meaningful than that. A play through the eyes of young children that are about ideological divisions has a lot of currency for us in the current moment we all live in. Jill, the woman you just saw who shared her experience during the strike, has since seen the show. She and some viewers who grew up during the strike say it felt real. The local nine union also donated more than $1,000 for students in Austin's I.J. Holton Intermediate School to see the play. Miguel Octavio, ABC 6 News.
Miguel, thank you. Spamtown USA started playing in mid-February and will run until April 5th. For tickets to see the show, click on the featured links tabs right now on our website.